what's up? So I told you I was bringing this straight to the streets, right? Look, I appreciate everybody tuning in to In The Mix Show on the radio, but now I want to start interacting with my fans. So I figured, you know, all that barbershop talk and everything, if it's one place here on the coast that's got some crazy talk, it's right here at Rags to Riches. So let me go in there and see what they're talking about. Promoting this new pound cake freestyle. Go check it out by Tito Lopez. Beat Kill Drake and Jay-Z. I'm just gonna put it out there. You know what I'm saying? And just sit up doing the coast thing, man. Coast life, 228. It's your boy, Mr. Pleasant. You are not in the mix. We rock sand, live and rats to riches. Bro, I just seen the interview this morning, he Roman. don't know he needs a brush. I just seen wow. the interview this morning. Say it, please. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said <laughs> He said, I feel, and the man said, the man said, I feel disrespect because I feel like y'all calling me the N-word. Y'all just said thug is another word for the word N-word. He was like, I feel like y'all calling me the N-word. He said, yeah. He said, because I went to Stanford. I, 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 he said, I raised up in Watts. He said, that was the reason for me going to Stanford, to get that thug mentality y'all say I got from off of me. That's why I went to Stanford. He loves the game. If, if they would have got me on the mic, and I just got done making a play, but I would have did the same thing. Because you're from that side. Because I'm from that well, side. Well, we'll never see that. I'm from that side. We went to my senior year, man. We brought Balexi back to the top of the map. We top 25 in the state. Y'all, we had to lose a record with y'all. We lost yeah, nine games straight. Man, I didn't care about y'all. Y'all, my junior year, my man. My senior year, we brought Balexi back to the map. Don't matter. The greatest player from Mississippi went from his school. So it don't matter. No, my school, my school. Oh, y'all school. Our man, school. Look, yeah, our school. Just look, not his. It, it, it could be 100 people. Nobody's going to be better no. than Jerry Rice. And we know that. We know that, bro. Boy Adrian, aka AB, aka Mr. What You Want, I got it, aka Meet You, Meet You Back, and I'm ready, and I'm with the girl Roxanne and Razzle, we just want my big brother said. The Dacry thing was pretty cool. That night, Alex Alcine came in. Nothing going on. I mean, I mean, I love Basically, coach, man. What you say, I don't you care what nobody out. say. Oh man, they talk about move. They talk about move away from the coast and this man. People don't, if you, I'm saying, it's so much money on the coast, people don't want to just, you got to go for it, you got to find it, you know what I'm saying? So, like, people want to leave it, instead of y'all leaving, man, how about y'all stay here and let's build it back up how it used to be? Let's get that beach back going, back Trying up. to be like they better than everybody, oh, I'm too better for this, I'm too better for that, man, but nah, man, you probably ain't just got it, man, you know, man, whatever, just, man, yeah, we just all need to just, we all need to just do something, instead of just being team this, team that, we just need to just, do something together, man. Yeah, it, it, it lacks because, like you said, everybody want to compete instead of everybody just coming together and, 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 and having like it used to. You know, everybody wants to compete. Everybody, oh, I'm better than this. I'm better than them. I'm better than them. Ain't nobody better than nobody because we ain't rose up from the damn bucket that we in. It's crabs in the bucket mentality. When somebody gets up, somebody want to bring them down. It's got to be about having fun and enjoying yourself and meeting people. And now it's more like a competition. Yeah, it's a competition. Yeah, so why would you want to go out and spend your money that you didn't work from Monday through Friday to somebody who wants to compete with the other person? You're not even concerned about the consumer. And the consumer is the one that, that makes the makes the club pop. So if the consumer stops going out, then what happens? I mean, I I never see I, I never seen the need to put yourself out there to say you're hot. Until you can put your own event together and have people come out, then you, you, think you, that you can't really maybe say you're the highest. Maybe all house. of these promoters could possibly one day get together and throw something and it'll be no. successful. No, because everybody can't do it. Everybody can't promote it. You can't put your, if you can't throw a party outside of what you are already doing in any other spot, it could be a barn, it could be on the side of the road. If you can't get a certain amount of people there, you're not a promoter. Because you basically just leeching off of where you're, where you're affiliated. Basically, yeah. Next day, we ain't going to be on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? We the hottest promoters on the coast. We do this. We run the coast. No, nah, we're going to be like, thanks for everybody for coming out to another blah, blah, blah event. Stay tuned for more. Right. That's what we do. That's why should be back all nine when we yeah. did that. Right. If you got to get on Facebook or any kind of social media and say you're the hottest on the coast, that means you're not really the hottest. Because mm -hmm. you let the people talk. That's just like being. That's like. Say it. That's just like being an athlete or being a singer or a rapper. You don't have to say I'm the best or this and that. Your fans or your people will speak for you. So why even say it? I try to keep the flame down because 
of who I am, you know what I'm saying? Who are you? And who, and who I rock with? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? See, you don't understand what I'm saying. Who are you, though? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand what I'm saying. We don't know who you are. Introduce yourself. That's the pleasure, kid, is satisfaction. I want everybody to do their own thing and throw their own parties in different spots. That's gonna help you not like See that that's the name. People get too comfortable being in one spot. You can't do that. You can't be labeled because first of all, that's just like me, I'm promoted. You know, if I'm promoting at this club and I keep on promoting there, people gonna be like, okay, he's promoted there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But if you see an event being thrown, I'm not gonna be like weak. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be saying that club. So when that club, you know what I'm saying, do good that night, I ain't finna be like, uh, we made this much money, we packed this out, we killed all these other clubs. Who is I'm my own person. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm GK set, I'm going to coach. Because when you look at me now, you're going to label me as a club. So when the owner calls somebody, like when somebody from Hasbro called down here, be like, hey, can I promote uh, Cameron Dell? Can I promote Steve? No, because he worked for this club. Instead of saying, oh, you know, yeah, he good. He'll work here, he work here. So, no, I mean. And that, and that, that separates a lot of people from being worthy of all this. It's your boy Raw checking in live from Rachel Riches with your girl Roxanne.